Where were you on 9-11? I had just returned from Washington, D.C. after a nine-year tour of duty and thought of my colleagues at the Pentagon and those assigned to bases throughout Washington, D.C. I prayed for their safety. 20 years ago, we watched as fellow citizens fell to unspeakable acts of terrorism and vowed we would never forget. We came together as a nation to defend our country and our freedom. Now, 20 years later, we need to again unite and recognize the importance of fighting for our freedom and will not let anyone take that away. Joining us are LA County Board of Supervisors, Hilda Solis and Janice Hahn. This day left an impressionable mark, not only in New York, but across the nation. I recall that day very vividly. At the time, I was a freshman serving in Congress, working in the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. There was so much anguish, confusion, anxiety, and uncertainty over what had happened. I will never forget how the Capitol Police helped us feel safe. We were evacuated from the Capitol, but we could not go home. The streets were backed up with traffic, the metro was closed, and the cell towers were overwhelmed with calls from people across the country reaching out to loved ones to check in. But the attack on 9-11 demonstrated a core truth about this country and who we are as Americans. It demonstrated that we are fighters, that we are a country grounded in unity, sympathy, and humility for one another. And it also demonstrated that we have the capacity to come together in our most difficult moments to take action. In that darkness, we were carried through with the support of one another, but especially with the support and sacrifices of the heroes that valiantly fought for our nation in response to this tragedy. So to all those who courageously stepped up, I wanna take this moment to express my deepest gratitude for your service. And to our veterans and our surviving families, I want you to know that we stand by you and we are here for you and we will never forget. As we mark the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, we are called first and foremost to remember. We remember where we were and what we were doing when we heard a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center. And we remember when we realized that this was more than an accident. We all lost something that day. But as we remember the fear and the grief we felt on this day, we remember too the impossible heroism of so many of our fellow Americans. We remember the firefighters and the police officers who without question or hesitation ran into the buildings to get others to safety, many of whom also lost their lives that day. Two decades since that fateful day, we have lost much of the unity that brought us together as a country in the days and years following the attacks. But as we remember those who lost their lives that day, I hope this is now an opportunity to come together in the spirit of solidarity and hope. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. If you are a veteran or family member who needs assistance, call 1-877-4-LA-VETS to speak directly with a veteran service officer.